What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Star Wars Battlefront, the Bespin DLC. Sorry this is a little late to upload, but as, uh, as I mentioned before, I, uh, I was gone all week so I wasn't able to record, but now we're here. So before we jump into anything, let's see what some of the new shenanigans we've got going on here. We've got two new blaster pistols, gross. Uh, I was kind of hoping for something like more sniper range, which I've, by the way, I've said before I didn't like this gun. But uh, I like it. I like it quite a lot. Uh, let's see what hut contracts we got here. We got an EMP. Destroy 25 enemy vehicles. Ooh, man. Get three kills with ion torpedoes. Ion neutralize. That is going to be a little rough to get. We're going to get that underway here. Um, and then you got the ion. It's... Whoa. Sana's hand. We got pay tribute. Job. Oh, blah, blah, blah. 30 kills with the EE3. Get three blaster rifle streaks and get 10 generator defense events. Um, Lando's hand, get 15 kills as Lando. Wow. Some of these are going to be kind of rough to do. I'm pretty much just unlocking everything. We got Disruptor. These 25 cooling cells complete. 30 cooling flushes. That will be an easy one to get. We got use pulse scan 25 times. So those are the two easy ones that we're going to do right off the bat, obviously. Um, let me set up here. We need... Uh, let's just do... Scan Pulse? Was that the one? Let's just do that right off the bat. Uh, well, let me see here. What were some of the other ones again? EMP. Uh, let's get the Ion Torpedo up in our second hand then. Uh, since we're going to be needing that. It is... I guess, you know, enemy vehicles, I guess you could just play Fighter Squadron and get that really easy. If they're still going to count that, that is. You could probably probably <laughs> hack that a bit. Um, 30 kills with the get 30 kills with the EE3, which looks like the gun we're going to be using the most here. Uh, we'll worry about that one later. Arm 5 generators and sabotage. So we got some new game modes then. Because uh, what's this one where it's gener generator defense events? I don't know what that is. Scan pulse we'll do first, and then we'll start using the cooling cell. Um, so yeah, let's see what this here Bezbin DLC is all about here. Uh, no, we want to. We got Walker Salt Blast, Turning Point, Fighter Squad, and Supremacy Drop Zone, and Sabotage. I think the first video we're going to jump into Sabotage. So if you guys would be so kind as press that thumbs up button and subscribe, it would definitely go a long way. Definitely. Uh, 81%? Come on. Let's see if we can get into full game. I'm definitely curious to see about Fighter Squadron, if we got some new weapons and things like that. One thing, though, I wish Star Wars would do, EA and DICE would do with this game, is instead of having, instead of having um, the games in a playlist mode of, like, Jump Between Walker, Salt, Supremacy, Sabotage, stuff, stuff like that, I wish they would just let them be... Uh, on a playlist of their own so if you wanted to play sabotage like look we're, we're getting into drop zone we're not even playing the dlc mission and that is something that i absolutely hate we're gonna go ahead and play drop zone just to check out some of the besman maps this dlc uh series might be a little longer because like i said i just want to kind of check things out and i wanted to do it the same way i did last time but obviously we're not getting into a game of sabotage we're going right into drop zone which is something I think DICE and EA really needs to fix. I think having these game modes in this automatic playlist is a terrible idea. It's a very, very bad idea. Uh, I, I just wish they would just let them play as is. I, you know, I, that's what I wish. And I also wish they could somehow integrate the DLC maps into the regular playlists of um, when you go to play Drop Zone or Walker Salt or something like that. I wish you could just go ahead and get that uh we want the e3 right which is that's e11 what's e3 then oh okay yeah we'll we'll be all right then um this is one of the new maps though we i've yet to actually play anything on this map um man i uh i haven't used this gun in forever I, uh, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's been a while, man. 
Uh, we really need a jump pack here. Um, definitely a pretty cool map, though. I just wish they would, like I said, just... Man, that zooms in really far, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it just kind of... It kind of sucks to have in these playlists. It's something that's wickedly annoying. But I've been waiting for this DLC for quite a while. Very happy it's finally here. Oh, where do they all come from? Um, unfortunately, we do not have all of our goodies. I'm definitely curious to see the these maps on the bigger on the bigger game modes. I think that'd be really cool. But I do wish that they. Uh, it looks like they changed drop drop zone now. I am the master elite, by the way. I mean, the sniper elite. That's right, Yale Dragons. Let's do this, man. Man, I've got my volume, like, <laughs> blasting out my eardrums, man. Oh, no. Hold on. I know I'm sucking right now. That's also because I'm trying not to blow out my ears. My volume was set on 90, which is not that high on my monitor, to be honest with you. Out of 100, you think 90 would blow out your eardrums, but in reality, it's just kind of loud. It was loud enough for me to turn it down. So assists are 100 points now. That's that's lame. You better not say that way. That was a sweet double kill. Oh my god, run away! <laughs> you guys have fun with that crap. Oh! I was doing so good there too, 6 and 3. That's not bad considering I, I one is I don't do firefights very much. I, I am a sniper. Uh, and two, oh dude. Uh, I don't normally use the psycho rifle that often, though. I will admit, I normally use uh, the pulse cannon with them. Um, oh, I just barely missed him. I still got him though. Oh man, I totally see that dude's head too. Oh man, how did I miss him? You can tell you can tell when there's new DLC because everybody's trying to do the hut contracts. Uh, I really do love this game though. This is one of my favorite multiplayer games of this generation. This is definitely the one I've played the most of too of this generation of console, but it um it's a lot of fun. I do really like this game a lot. I just wish... I just wish DICE would, um... Would take these the DLC out of these stupid playlists. Like, I get it, you're trying to make people play the game, different game modes and stuff more. I get that. Oh! <laughs> Missed him. The psych rifle, like I said, I'm not the best with. I'm not bad with it, but I'm definitely not as good with it as I am. The, um... The pulse cannon and the whatever the one gun's called. I can't ever remember the name of it off the top of my head, but the um, it's a pulse cannon to say the least. It's not a pulse cannon. It's a sniper rifle to say the least. I mean, it's the one that came with the last DLC, the outer rim DLC. Uh, I can't remember the, like I said the, the serial number, if you will, off of it. Oh. 
so much for doing good. We need to switch up. I need different. I need a jump pack. Is what I need. Oh what? Yeah, he's using the E three two. Oh, on the back the bomb. Nice. You know, you don't really see many people use those anymore. I I can get though why Dice is wanting to to shove all this in together, so you can, you know you have to play the different game modes. But in all honesty, I think it's kind of dumb and, and ultimately silly to to do so. Oh man, I feel I feel so vulnerable without my jump pack. Um, but it's just it's yeah, like I said, it's just one of them things, you know. That um, we are capturing the escape I just port. hope in the future, kind of goes away. I'm not too crazy about about these playlist things. I just wish it was. Oh, whatever. What the heck is that thing? Okay. I'm gonna say, oh, I went positive for the first game, even though we lost two to ten. It's ridiculous. Hopefully, we get into a game of sabotage. Uh, if we get into one of these longer games, I think I'll just back out. This might be a longer series because there's a lot more um, game modes involved with this one, and it seems like there's actually a lot of stuff involved. And we did get a level cap race. Awesome. Sweet. I uh, wonder if we got any new, like, character customizations and things like that. If we go in a longer game, I'll cut this into two videos. Uh, we'll move along into the next one. Uh, I just kind of want to show you guys this about... This This series can seriously probably go as long as I wanted it to. I don't want to go overly long with just the Besman stuff. But I do want to get quite a bit of... Uh, show you guys quite a bit of what's going on with this. Uh, seven kills, seven charges used, seven star cards. So we used scan pulse seven now the twenty five times. That's good. Uh, I just I like to I like to get the hut contracts completed as fast as possible so I can go back to playing the play style I like. You know the hut contracts makes me play outside of that, and so I'd rather just <laughs> bum rush and try to get through them as fast as possible. But I do really like this game. I just wish EA would get rid of this stupid playlist. Uh, mumbo jumbo. We are going into Walker Assault, which is uh, my favorite. So I, th we're gonna. Oh, unfortunately, we're not gonna play sniper. We'll look out for sniper spots. Uh, I want my jump pack though. We are using somewhat of a decent gun, so that's good. 